hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion related to fluid pr pressure measurement in the previous video we discussed some basic concepts related to fluid pressure measurements in terms of uh, you know the reference value which is taken whether it is absolute zero or vacuum or the atmospheric pressure we discussed that so in this video we are going to discuss about a simple you know measurement process or an instrument which is used for the measurement of fluid pressure which is mercury barometer so this whole uh, concept of uh, mercury barometer is based on the pressure exerted by the liquids so we know that liquids at rest they exert a perpendicular force on the surface in contact with be it a solid surface or liquid layer below it and that pressure is simply force divided by area and by a liquid column which in this case we will be discussing the pressure exerted by a liquid column that is given as this we have derived this expression rho g h so this will come in handy so the basic design of a mercury barometer is something like this okay so it consists of a container filled with mercury then an inverted glass tube which is placed and there the atmospheric pressure is exerted on the entire container which is filled with mercury we have taken one specific point c on it okay so here as per pascal's principle this pressure c is uniformly transmitted equally transmitted to all the other points in the container so if we pick point a here which is inside the glass tube within the glass tube pressure at point c and pressure at point a they are equal okay pressure at point c is equal to pressure at point a as per pascal's law that is pressure is equally transmitted in a liquid filled in a closed container okay in a closed container now we know that this pressure at point a is because of this rise of mercury in this inverted glass tube so if you remember pressure exerted by a liquid column is this force by area force is mass into acceleration due to gravity mass which is volume into density where a is the cross sectional area h is the height and that we got at uh, as rho g h so here this height let's say it is h please ignore the 76 cm part we'll come to that so let's say this height is h so here pressure at a is because of the rise of mercury in the inverted glass tube and the pressure because of that is simply rho g h where rho is the density of the mercury so it means that p atmospheric pressure which is equal to pc the pro, uh, pressure at c which is equal to pa as per pascal's law that is equal to rho g h out of this rho is constant g is constant the only variable thing here is h so the height of mercury which can go up or down that gives us the pressure value to be measured 
h is the only variable parameter here because rho and g are constant so normally for atmospheric pressure the height of mercury is 76 centimeter okay so here the atmospheric pressure is equal to rho g h rho and g are constant the height of the mercury that gives us a value of atmospheric pressure and at normal temperature and pressure at sea level this height is 76 centimeter or 0 0.76 meter density of mercury is 13.6 into 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube so if we put these values we'll get the atmospheric pressure as 1.01 into 10 to the power 5 newton per meter square or pascal so now from this let us uh, try to find the height of the atmosphere okay so we know that the atmosphere which is the gaseous envelope around uh, the surface of the earth by using the same concept if we try to determine uh, approximate uh, value of the height of the atmosphere simply pressure of the fluid column that is given by rho g h here we are interested in finding out this height okay this height so pressure of the atmosphere is 1.01 and return to power 5 newton per meter square or pascal density of air is basically 1.293 into kg per meter cube it varies but on an average we can consider this as the density of air okay it varies at different places but mostly it is this the approximate value is this so here acceleration of gravity is known g density of air is known so height is simply p by rho air into g that is the atmospheric pressure p which is equal to 1.01 into the power 5 newton per meter square divided by rho air into g so here it is rho air into g and that is equal to 8000 meter 8 kilometer so that is coming the value okay so friends here uh, this height which we have calculated this is only an uh, you know estimate you know value which is taken taking into account the average value this density of air which is 1.293 kg per meter cube this is not the accurate value here we just tried to you know uh, roughly estimate what will be the height of the atmosphere taking into consideration the average density of air uh, you will find this value changing in uh, different places here we just tried to take the approximate average value put the value in this uh, formula p is equal to rho g h value of p atmosphere taken as this 1.01 to the power 5 newton per meter square pascal and on the basis of that this result came I'm not saying that this value is accurate it is only on the basis of the data which we have taken here atmospheric pressure this acceleration due to gravity 9.8 that and the density of air which is the average value which you have taken it is different at different places just the average value you have taken which is this and on the basis of that this is the value okay so here as i said uh, the height of the mercury h is equal to 76 centimeter i told you that we'll come to it later so the density of mercury is 13.6 into 10 to the power 3 so if we uh, substitute it in uh, this uh, rho g h which gives us the pressure of uh, a fluid column which we have already discussed uh, the pressure of a fluid column is given by rho g h so here if we substitute this density rho with density of mercury rho h g which is this value and uh, g which is 9.8 acceleration due to gravity and atmospheric pressure p atmospheric pressure which 
is 1.01 and return to power 5 Newton per meter square and try to calculate the height h which will give us the value that will be 0 0.76 meter or uh, you know 76 centimeter so it is it will come around 75.7 centimeter so rounding it off approximately it is 76 centimeter okay so that's why the height of this mercury column in this inverted tube for measuring the atmospheric pressure that value is 76 centimeter the rounded off value okay 76 centimeter So, here we have discussed uh, an important thing which is very important and very simple application of uh, a device which is used for fluid pressure measurement and that is mercury barometer and we discussed its uh, basic operating principles. So, I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology. Have a great day. Thank you very much.